Hello, I'm Josh, and welcome back to another episode of TM3 Life. As you've seen in the thumbnail, and also I'm sure the uh, title of this video, uh, you're probably wondering how I was able to acquire a brand new uh, Tesla Powerwall for only $1,500. And it's not clickbait, it's true. So I'll explain that um, at the end of the video uh, about how that works and what you can do um, what you may be able to do, I should say, in order to um, take advantage of that particular deal. I was able to um, film the entire uh, process of the installation from the beginning to the end. Uh, it was, I did it in a time-lapse format. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect you guys to the time-lapse format now. And uh, after the time lapse is over, we'll come back and we'll, I'll show you the complete install a little more up close and personal and walk you through how it all works and then explain to you how that $1,500 for a Tesla Powerwall 2 uh, works. All right, see you soon. and uh, welcome to the uh, final installation of the Tesla Powerwall 2. Um, so before they came to do the installation, as you probably noticed in the uh, time lapse, the only thing that was actually originally here was this panel here. And this is our, this was my main breaker panel at this point, the way that this is now wired, this is now my sub panel. 
So the power for our house comes in from the ground down here, comes into this junction box, and it used to come in right into the bottom of this electrical panel, and that was just how the power came into the house. And now it comes in this junction box, it comes out of the junction box, and it goes into this panel. This is now the main panel, okay? And that panel feeds through into here. This is the gateway. This is what actually um, manages when we lose power from the grid. It turns on the power wall, and the power wall um, then supplies power back out of here into the panel on its own breaker and then powers the whole house. Now the reason why there's a separate um, main panel, electrical panel now, the Tesla Powerwall can only power um, everything that's below, uh, that's 30 amps or below, so, or, or, or basically nothing above 50 amps. And in, in my house I have two, you can see two wires coming into the top of this electrical panel. One of those is for my range, um, and the other one is for the um, PWC, Tesla wall charger, Tesla wall connector, uh, whatever you want to call it, HPWC, the old name for it. Um, so in here, we'll see if I can show you what we have. There's not, a, there's not a lot going on in here. But in this panel here, so here's our two 50 amp breakers. Um, and again, everything's labeled, just like you should always label everything in every electrical panel. So I've gone, gone ahead and relabeled this. This top one is for the Tesla. This bottom one is for the oven. Um, I will be changing out this 50 amp breaker for the Tesla for 60 amp because I do have 6.3 wire going over to the charger. Um, and that will give me the full 48 amps uh, AC to DC that the Model 3 will accept. That's actually the max um, AC to DC uh, connection that the Model 3 will accept. So we'll actually be able to take advantage of that with a 60 amp breaker in here. And I've already run the 6.3 wire and that also does support that kind of amperage. So we'll go ahead and we'll close this. Okay. And then again, like I said, this is now a sub panel. So in here, again, I've, I've replaced the, this label because some things have changed in here. And now I have the Tesla power wall which is right down here. It's also labeled here battery. So that is what's uh, feeding the battery. It's only it's a 30 amp breaker there uh, to allow the, the, the power wall to take control of this entire, um, our entire household, less the oven, again, and less the uh, charger for the Model 3. Um, everything else will be fully operational, which includes all of our lights. It includes, um, Know, the washer, the dryer, actually even our hot tub, because uh, our hot tub runs on 110. Um, so that would be a waste of battery, but if we wanted to, we certainly could use that. Um, and everything else, like all the lights, the fridges, freezers, um, everything. So it's, 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 it's fantastic. Uh, depending on the load, obviously, it depends on how long the battery will last and how long the outage is, obviously. It makes a big difference in that as well. So um, that's essentially how this all works. Um, this is kind of close to a vehicle that we park here. Um, and, you know, kids walking by and into the house, so I do plan on getting this, uh, some PPF put on that, paint protection film. So I'll have that put on here uh, to protect this because it's, it's very white and it's very shiny and I, I, I don't want to scratch or dinged up by kids walking by with bicycles or, or whatnot. So I'll have that uh, squared away. Um, other than that, let's talk about how I was able to get this Tesla Powerwall. And I apologize if you can hear that. Apparently one of my neighbors is having an issue with their car alarm. So I don't know if you hear that in the background, but sorry about that. It's kind of inconvenient doing a video with that in the background. Um, so how was I able to get a brand new Tesla Powerwall 2 for $1,500? Well, it's kind of a special thing that is going on in the state of Vermont just for Green Mountain Power customers. And that is, that is one of the... Uh, local um, power utilities in Vermont. Um, so anyone that has Green Mountain Power, I think they're doing a test a test run right now and they're deploying 2,000 um, power walls to people that, that want them. And it's kind of an effort to reduce their additional grid power that they might need during peak times. So this is also wired in a way where, so when I'm not using this, this, this Tesla power wall, our utility can actually pull power out of the power wall, their entire power wall network um, of deployed power walls. Um, 
for when they have peak times or times that they, that they would normally need to fire up additional um, you know, dirty power uh, in order to facilitate those needs and now they can just pull it right back from stored power and power walls. So it's kind of a win for the utility company and it's a win for um, the residents as well who are able to take advantage of this because instead of spending I believe $6,500 for this power wall, um, I only had to pay $1,500 for it and that did include the entire installation as well. So that was not just the power wall and then I had to pay extra. That was the power wall and the entire installation was $1,500. Now you can pay that as a one-time payment to the power company or you can pay, I think it's $15 a month for 10 years, uh, which actually ends up being $1,800 if you do the math. And so I figured I'm going to save $300, I'll just pay it up front. Um, but yeah, so I haven't, we haven't had the power go out yet. Um, since uh, it's been installed, except for the test that we did, uh, and it, it was it was great. It, 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 there was like no notice at all. The power we we went over to a main breaker down where where the meter's located, about 200 feet away from the house here, down the driveway, and uh, shut that off. And the battery just took over, and it was it, like just just like that, very very quick, and uh, yeah, everything just kept running. It was fantastic. Um, so I look forward to maybe reporting back with you guys and. Um, letting you know how how it goes in an actual power outage and you know what I see if I see the utility company using that because I can also manage this on the on the Tesla app just like you can your your Model 3, Model S or Model X. Um, it now shows up on my Tesla account. Um, so yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited about it um, and can't wait to see how it works when we actually do lose power. I do want to say thank you uh, to all my current subscribers uh, for hanging in there. It's it's hard for me to produce a ton of content all the time, mainly because I, I don't have the car, and the car is the main is, is going to be the main content on this channel and in life with the Model Three. That's really what this channel is going to be about, and also also uh, reviewing other new electric vehicles coming to the market and seeing how they compare and you know the best of uh, of everything that's going to be out there coming soon uh, to, to the EV market. One review coming up is going to be the Nissan Leaf uh, Gen 2 and also the Hyundai Ioniq. Um, so I'm trying to get times to review those and I'll be posting those videos as well. I also have um, some items that I've ordered. Uh, so we'll do an unboxing and I'll explain why I've ordered some certain items that I think are also going to be good preparation items for when you actually get the Model 3. Some things that you might want to change out or some things that you might want to do to it right off the bat. So I've ordered some of those things and uh, in preparation and hope that uh, it'll be information for you that when, when you take deliveries of your own Model 3s. Please go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed now, this channel is going to be putting out a lot more content very soon. Um, and please smash that like button because without hitting the like button these videos don't get shared people don't see them and the information doesn't get out there so please hit the like button and as always thanks for joining us here on tm3 life